Paystag payment page is an amazing feature of Paystag that allows you to create a payment page for your product or service so that your customers can easily pay you from anywhere in the world. So I will show you how to create a Paystag payment page like this one. Once you create it, you can generate your payment link and either send it directly to your customer through text message, through WhatsApp, email or whatever means you want. Or you can even embed it to your website and once your customer clicks on it, they can easily pay you and then you will receive your money into your paystack balance from where you can send it directly to your local bank account. If you're ready for that, then let's get started. So, of course, the very first thing you want to do is to sign into your paystack account. And peradventure, if you don't have a Paystack account already, I already recorded a video that shows you the step-by-step -step process to opening a free Paystack account. I will leave the link to that video in the video description and it's also displayed right now on your screen. So make sure you open an account and then you come back once you open it and then you get to your dashboard. Once you're here in your dashboard, the very first thing you want to do right now to create your payment page is to scroll down to this left pane here and you come to this payment page option here. You click on it. All right, so once you do that, you can see here that already I have a payment page created for a school website design order okay so for me to create a new page all i need to do right now is to come to this green new page you no know, button here and i'll click on that okay so once i click on that it's going to pop up this window for me and tell me three options that i can choose from you can choose a one-time payment if you want to create a product or a service that your customers are going to be paying you just once Okay, you're going to choose the first one, but if it is a subscription payment and a subscription payment is a recurring payment, maybe you're currently taking them on a course or maybe for any service whatever that requires them to keep making recurring payment, then you're going to choose the second option while this third option is for product payments. So if you already have an inventory and you want to create a page to sell one or more product from that inventory, then you're going to choose the third one. So each and every one of them, they follow almost the same process. So let me just go with the first one here. So I'm going to choose. Okay, once I do that, it's going to pop up this page for me and then I'll fill this. Here yeah, it's asking for the name of the page. So what is the name of the product you want to sell? So for example, I currently have a local SEO call that I'm selling. So let's assume that is what I want to sell. All I need to do here is just to call it the name of that product. Okay, so I call it local SEO calls. Okay, here it's asking for description. So, okay, I'm just going to say video calls on ranking top for local SEO. Go ahead and put your own description. So, here it's asking for image, so which is optional as you can see. So, if I have an image for this particular product, I can put it up here. So, let me just add an image. I'm going to use any test image here. Okay, let me just pick this one for demonstration's sake. And then I'm going to wait for this image to load up. Okay, so as you can see, it has loaded. You should have your own. So here it's saying, I want a fixed payment amount on this page or I want to collect phone numbers on this page. So here, if I want a fixed payment amount on this page, I'm going to just click on this. So it's going to ask me, what is the fixed payment amount on this page? Um, let's assume that my cost is going for 10,000 Naira. So I'm just going to say 10,000 Naira. Okay, so here it's asking me, do I want to collect phone numbers on this page? If you want to collect phone numbers, you just tick it. If you don't want to collect phone numbers of your customers, you leave it unticked. Okay, so here we also have advanced options. So let's look at what we have here. So here it's asking, use your custom link. If you have a custom link, so yeah, I can just try to call this local SEO. Okay. Okay, so it's saying URL unavailable, so I can say SEO2, I'm sure by now, okay, so you can see it's available. So here it's asking for a redirect after payment. So for example, if after they have paid for your cost, and you want to redirect them maybe to your website, maybe to your WhatsApp, contact, whatever, you can always do that here. Um, the advantage of this is that you want to keep track of your customer so that if you want to resell other products to them or you want to sell them on other products or service, you can always have their contact. That is if you want to do that. So if you have your redirect link, you want to paste it in here, but I'm going to leave that option open. Here is saying success message. What message do you want them to see after they have made their purchase? I can just say thanks for your patronage. Okay, so that's okay by me. So here it says send notification to so it provided this email address will get transaction details. So if you want, after they have paid, you want to have a 
notification alert that they have paid you. Of course, you should have your email address. So I'm just going to choose an email address so that once they pay, I can get a notification that the payment has been made. Okay, so here it's saying, do you want to collect any extra information? If you want to collect other information, maybe their name, maybe their address or something, you can always do that as you can see here. You can give this a name and if you want to add more, you can see you can add more uh, fields so that you can get more information. But for me, I don't think I need that. I don't want to stress my customers. So once I'm done with that, I will just come in here and click create. Okay, so you can see here your page has been created. Share your page link to start receiving payment. This is all it is, guys. So now that my payment has been made, all I need to do is to um, preview this page to look at what it looks like. So if I click on visit your page, it's going to open in a new tab and then I can see what this looks like. So you can see this is what your customer is going to see once they click on your page. They're just going to come in here, fill in their first name and their last name. They're going to fill in their email address. And then you can see here that the amount here is fixed. It's 10,000 Naira and that is it. It's not a variable you know, price. And once they fill up this thing, they can just come in here and click pay now. And then they can use their either their Visa card or their MasterCard or their birth card to make your payment. And then once the payment has been done successfully, you're going to get an email notification that your payment has been made. Okay, so that is how to do that. So here you can just copy the link directly. As you can see, it has been copied to clipboard. So you can send it directly, maybe through WhatsApp, maybe through text message, maybe through email, depending on the best way that your customers think that they can get, you know, this payment link and then they can go ahead and complete the transaction. Of course, you can also link this particular payment to your website. So if, for example, you have a sales page on your website that you're selling that product on, you can just, you know, copy this link and then embed it on your sales page of your website. And then you can share the link of your website. And then the whole process is going to be carried out just as I've explained this way. So this is how to create your payment page in Paystack. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comment section. I'll do my best to give you an answer. And please, if you enjoyed this video and it gave you value, please give it a like. And if you want to see more Paystack and other digital marketing and make money online tutorials like this, check up on my channel. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and then turn on the alert bell so you get to know when I release my next videos. Also, I have other tutorials on Paystack, which is on my Paystack playlist on my channel. So you can check it out for more, you know, marketing information about Paystack like this. Thank you and I will see you in my next video.